All right, so I did a video of loading this, but a couple of the segments glitched out on me. So I'm going to do a video of unloading. This is mainly kitchen wares and a few things. I normally have a collapsible bucket right on the top, but we kept that out to put the campfire out with. First thing I always like right on top is all the headlights. So you get quick access if you're coming in late at the, in the evening or whatever. You need to know where your headlights are. Right there. I'll put them down there. Uh, mess kits. So I found it was easier to make room if you have all the cutlery in one bag, bowls and plates in another bag, and the cups. They don't fit very well in there, but they fit all good. I keep toilet paper in almost every bag. So I found out on this trip I took way too much dish soap. Uh, I only used a fraction of one of those so in the future one is sufficient. Tried a few new things here. I accidentally took two coffee filters. These are the um, collapsible ones that you put a coffee filter into. I'm not sure how I accidentally took two of them. Uh, this is a collapsible kitchen sink which is different from the collapsible bucket for washing in. My Kevlar oven mitts, very useful around the campfire and the stove. A belt knife. Um, I had extra water purification tablets in there. That's more of a first aid kit type thing. I always have some unused large uh, freezer or Ziploc bags in case you need them. Um, now I had all of my rehydration stuff in here. These, these are from Ikea. 1.4 liters with very good watertight lids. For rehydrating, I left the lid on that one because it wasn't washed out properly yet. This, these ones all were, and the lids, um, and a smaller size one. They stack in there really nicely. Uh, bear spray. Now we get into these things. I pack vertically. If you want to get a shot of how this stuff is packed vertically over here. So stuff like these are our campfire forks um, and spatulas, kitchen knives, just go down along the edge of the thing vertically. My fishing knife for fillets, uh, another spatula. Uh, and let me see, then we get into my little stove with an extra canister, one of those canister stoves. Rope, um, my rope bag, rope and cord. Not too much in there, different kinds, paracord, different sizes, one for a clothesline. Uh, water purification. I brought two water filters this last time. I always have a backup, um, two different ones. And fly dope. And, and you're wondering what, what this is for. So this is a um, hammock weight insulated pad. And the way I put things in here, metal things, I arrange it so the, the pad goes in between metal things so they're not clanging up against each other. They won't dent each other. If you want to get a shot here of where my big frying pan is. So I got a big pot in the bottom. Actually, there's my candle lanterns. I did a video on those, very handy to have my stove and a little pot set like a little backpacking pot set and my canister stove and another candle lantern and you see i've got in here like a three liter pot three liter pot for when you need a lot of water and then down the side i've got this what for most people would be way too big of a frying pan the GSI, the new one from GSI, my first trip with it. It's an amazing frying pan, heavier than most people are going to want, but I enjoy cooking. And then just some more spatulas and stuff. I think that was it. 
Oh, my belt knife, that one was on my belt. But it came loose, so I threw it in there. So that's what my barrel looks like uh, for my gear. Oh, and I forgot to mention about the yellow pad and uh, rehydrating. So when I'm rehydrating, I use the yellow pad to basically as insulation because it's really good insulation. I drop a piece of firewood there or another piece of gear, a piece there to hold, hold everything snug in place. Um, and uh, basically snug that all around there. And this is a really good uh, insulation thing for rehydrating in addition to protecting things in the barrel when you pack it tight.